Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to the Stephen King Theorist. I'm not sure which episode this is, but today we are talking about Fairy Tale by Stephen King. If you are unfamiliar with the show, this is a series over 60 episodes long so far where I connect uh, every single one of Stephen King's book, whether they are Dark Tower connected or not, I connect them to the Dark Tower and I connect them to the rest of the Stephen King universe. Let me get my notes here. So uh, today is going to be a fun episode, at least for me. I hope uh, some of that over overflows onto you guys. Uh, but the very first thing we're going to talk about is a phenomenon within Stephen King's universe. You have a couple different variations on how uh, his stuff connects to his world. You have his own Stephen King universe where Derry exists, where Castle Rock exists, where Haven exists, uh, multiple other fictional towns. Um, and then you have a Stephen King universe where Stephen King exists in that universe as an author. So let's say, uh, especially with this one, I'm going to bring up those things right off the bat. Cujo is mentioned twice. Oh, by the way, if you're not uh, familiar with this, you're going to have spoilers throughout for Fairy Tale and for the, uh, just expect the entirety of Stephen King's catalog. So moving forward, um, Cujo is referenced twice, not just once, but twice as a movie that exists in this universe. Thus, Stephen King, the author, exists in this universe. So my hard connect right off the bat to this, to, to the Dark Tower with Fairy Tale, is that Stephen King exists in this universe, in this place, as an author. Stephen King also is a character in the Dark Tower series. If you read it, you know what I'm talking about. So that is my hard connect to the Dark Tower series. There are some looser connections here, um, just uh, references throughout to the Dark Tower. I'm going to go into that one next. Um, on page 112 of the hardcover first edition um, that I held up earlier, on page 112, the uh, poem by Robert Brown, I believe it is. I don't think it's Frost. I believe it's Robert Brown. Child Roland to the Dark Tower came, which is the coda to Stephen King's The Dark Tower universe. So, that poem exists in this universe. Stephen King exists in this universe. It just feels, I mean, it, of course, it's a reference. Um, next up, you have uh, things said in the fictional world of Empress, such as on page uh, 244, for best. F-O-R uh, dash, well, you know, da yeah, dash B-E-S-T, for best, like your for best plate. I'm not sure if that's something that people use in our own uh, whatever. I think, I'm pretty sure the only time I've ever heard it is in uh, the drawing of the three where Detta O Detta mentions the four best plates. Um, I believe that is the case. If not, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Another uh, reference that I caught, it's not Dark Tower reference, but on page 251, now this might be reaching, I'll let you guys discuss that down there in the doobly-doo, but on page 251 of the first edition hardcover, uh, it says, good people shine bright in dark times. Shining, shine, it's a theme all throughout Stephen King's universe. Um, next up, you have trolleys in this uh, fictional fantasy land more of a uh, more modern technology than you would expect to see in a place uh, like Empress. And it's the same way in Midworld. It's the world has moved on. So the trolleys piqued my interest. Um, on page 305, he mentions Inside View, which is a tabloid magazine within uh, the Stephen King universe. Um, let's see here. We have uh, on page 323 is something that I caught, and I may be wrong, but uh, all the different colored roads in Lillimar, um, where there's a certain place where all the roads branch and they're all a different color, kind of like Merlin's Grapefruit and all of the crystals and all that stuff from the Dark Tower. Are you coming along with me? You, you see you see what I'm talking about? Uh, next up, we have someone literally says, In Empress, long days and pleasant nights. And when that character says that, it is brought up, where did you hear that from? And the other character says, I don't know, maybe some book that I read or some book my father read, I believe is the actual quote. But yeah, long days and pleasant nights are how people uh, say goodbye in the Dark Tower universe. Uh, finally, on page 538, 
there is a piece of di there's a piece of narration so it's in the narrative it's not dialogue that says the wheel turns now going now how i'm going to end this episode and we will get to the giveaway uh winners here in a moment but what what i'm taking from this is there are certain wells in this in this world that king created called empress um you have to take a well down to it and then that, that's how Charlie Reed gets to Empress, the fantasy land of Empress from his own world, uh, where Cujo is referenced. Uh, you take that well down in a spiral staircase. And then again, later on in the book, there's another spiral staircase leading down to possibly yet another world when Charlie and I can't remember the princess's name. Uh, I keep wanting to say Falada, but that that's that's not correct but um when they faced the final big bad which was awesome by the way probably my favorite part of the book um when, when they're facing it there's another world down below this one if you continue downward um there's so many references throughout this book to midworld i cannot help but think that this world is just another level of the tower um, you have the wheel turns, you have long days and pleasant nights, you have Stephen King as a character in the world, and that character is a writer that has written Cujo, which is the same type of character. He he plays himself, he wrote himself into the Sixth Dark Tower book. I'm not sure if he's in the seventh, I can't remember if he's in the seventh one or not, but I know for a fact he's in the sixth one. Um, and Roland and all them go and meet him, or maybe it's just Eddie, it's been a while since I read it. And that's another, that brings me to my next point. I have not read the Dark Tower series in quite a long time. I plan to do a reread here very shortly. Um, I have made it all the way up until book three several times, but those last uh, those last four books, I end up getting stuck on Wizarding Glass because I I'm not a fan of that book whatsoever. But if you guys caught anything else, I would love to hear your comments down there in the doobly doo. The best catches, of course, will the best catch will get pinned. Now for the results of the giveaway. I am going to pick them here and now, right in front of you. I'm going to pull up the video and I am going to look at the comments and I'm going to randomly pick one. I'm gonna scroll and then hit my finger and whichever one is it, is uh, whichever one I pick, that is the one that I'm going for. So, dum 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 dum. Oh, Wayne Power with the comment, my favorite, of what I have read so far, I think would have to be revival. I couldn't put it down, and the ending is something I keep coming, I keep thinking about all the time. Thanks for doing the contest, D. E. I hope I win. Well, you did, Wayne. You did. Here we go. Uh, and Wayne says, "Good luck, everyone else." So, Wayne Power, you are the winner of not only Fairy Tale, but I have an extra copy of Later up here that I'm going to be sending, also. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, like I said, if you, if you found anything else that I have missed, definitely uh, leave that comment down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of the Stephen King Theorist. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.